With some encouraging news here, nearly half of Minnesota smokers tried to kick the habit last year. Smokers can begin their quitting journey this Wednesday, which is Kick Butts Day. Here to talk about what's available in terms of support is Mike Sheldon from Clearway, Minnesota. It's great to have you here today. Yeah, thank you. Uh, there is a lot of support there for people who do want to quit. Talk about what's the what the mainstay of this help is. Yeah, so really the good news is that every Minnesotan has access to free comprehensive support to help them quit smoking through Quit Plan Services. Uh, and this is every Everything from text messaging, email support, uh, they can even get phone coaching and free patches, gum or lozenges to really help them quit. Uh, you have a challenge that's coming up here and this is a pretty important one. It is, yeah. so it's some, some even more motivation uh, for people to quit. I mean, certainly, uh, you know, the, the health benefits of quitting are, are well known, but now you have an opportunity to win $5,000 by quitting. And the way this works is you just need to register uh, at quitcash.com and, and quit smoking, quit using tobacco uh, for the entire month of April. Uh, at the end of the month, we choose a, a random winner. We do a, a biochemical test to make sure that they've remained tobacco free. Uh, and as I mentioned, the grand prize is $5,000. What What is the sweet spot in terms of getting people to quit, let's say over a group, the age group over 40? You know, it, it varies. Uh, certainly we do see uh, people who are, tend to be a little older who are more likely to quit sometimes just because uh, they may be feeling the effects of cigarette smoking. Uh, but it really does, it varies. And we encourage anyone, any age, if they're thinking about it, to, to take advantage of the free help and, and to sign up for the contest. So young people increasingly are not turning to the cigarette, but they are turning to other forms of tobacco. Yeah, we've yeah. certainly seen, right, the, the rise in e-cigarettes, uh, especially among youth and, and young adults. And, you know, uh, regardless of whatever tobacco product you're using, if you're, you know, uh, regardless of how you're trying to quit, uh, you know, we're happy to support people in whatever method they want to use. But the e-cigarette is not necessarily something that we would recommend for people who are trying to quit. How many times does it take uh, to be successful with this? What do you, and you have a lot of numbers I know you deal <laughs> with with people because they do try. You know, uh, right. And so oftentimes it does take multiple attempts for mm -hmm. people to be successful. But what we like to encourage people is that if they do have the, the professional help, that, that comprehensive support, they're going to be much more likely to successfully quit than if they try to do it on their own. And hopefully you try to do it before they have a health event like a heart attack or something serious that uh, obviously necessitates that. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, good information here today. We're going to give uh, info to everybody at home too. Kick Butts Day is Wednesday, March 20th. For more information on quitting smoking and the support and the challenge, head to carol11.com. Look under the 4 p.m. show page.